Right, shalom, I'm giving our praise unto Yabashi Mashai, Yabashi Makar Hakodash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone. And honest you brothers will be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. The above our body are coming out here to give you this truth for the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Makar Hakodash. Giving our praise unto Yabashi Mashai, Yabashi Makar Hakodash. So, this is going to be a relatively quick video, an in transit style video, uh, based upon the topic um, In much tribulation shall we inherit the kingdom of the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and indeed, that's a true statement, okay? In much tribulation shall we inherit the kingdom of the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashim Say. And um, and yeah, man, um, you know, like the scripture says, in order for us to be considered sons, we're just gonna go through a plethora of chastisement. And um Yeah, in this in this thing you can go through it. The most is gonna present you with situations where you think you're crazy. Does it present you with situations where you could lose the faith? <laughs> and every brother's trauma is a little bit <coughs> every brother's trauma is a little bit different just like how everybody every brother's reason for coming in this truth or circumstances rather more for coming into this truth was different i won't say reason because jake was jake jake has a zeal for the heavenly father yeah about shimao shai and we hope that the zeal that we have is according to knowledge so most brothers come into this truth for the same thing you come for knowledge you come for comfort to be comforted okay because we're catching hell. I mean, it comes back into that particular, onto that particular topic that we're speaking about already. Because you're already catching hell when you come into this truth. Sometimes, you know, you, you think you're going to be all right. And sometimes you are all right. All right. But because you came in with your own little personality quirks and your own little personality defects and your own little things that you're, you know, that's happening with you. It's easy to, um, it's easy to get to be, you know, over, over, overpowered by these things. Okay. Things that you went through before you came into this truth, things that you go through when you come into this truth, it's easy to become overwhelmed by them. But it's much more difficult in those particular situations to to pray, which really that's what you ought to do. Okay, really that's what you ought to do. Because even your Shai, when he was going through it, he prayed, man. Okay, he got, got got to the basics of the scriptures and prayed. He says, look, if you know, if I don't have to go through this, all right. Um, I pray I don't go through it. And, and 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 one fantastic thing that the apostle said, because you know, if you're a layman, you might look at the scripture and say, oh, okay, the most I didn't answer him, but the most I did give him an answer because he didn't respond. That is an answer. So too in this truth, sometimes you pray for particular things, and sometimes you don't you don't get it then. All right, you don't get it then. I mean, look, I can't pray to to work for for Apple. Okay, so there is a there is a, a level of um. There's a level of self-awareness that, that you gotta have because I'm not no Apple engineer type person, huh? Okay, I can't pray for that particular job and get it. Obviously, I'm, that's not, you know, I'm just using that example. Obviously, I'm just using that example, but there's particular things that you pray for and you gotta do the personal work, right? You gotta develop your own character. You gotta develop, sometimes, let's, let's call it the spiritual resume, okay? You gotta develop a spiritual resume before you can access that particular thing that you're, you're praying for. And that could be a plethora of different things, a plethora of different, different scenarios can apply to that particular logic okay but obviously you know like i said look man, I'm, I'm not no develop development software engineer i can't pray for that particular job okay if i got the skills and the resume for it i could play for that so jake needs a certain level of awareness when it comes to particular things because it's all good and well for it praying for your situation to get better but you're not you're not going to do the work okay you're not going to do the spiritual work you ain't going to do the the personal work to get yourself out of that particular situation you got to do the, sometimes you got to do some personal work man Sometimes you gotta do some personal work. And I, I believe even the apostle, they said the apostle said that before, where he says, like, look man, you're praying for particular things, but why don't you just learn to love yourself? <laughs> you know, you're praying for X, Y, and Z, but why don't you just accept the situation for what it is? You, you, you know, you messed up in the head, we're all through. But we do understand that Yahweh Shai is gonna come. And when Yahweh Shai comes, that's when all situations are gonna be rectified. Okay, now obviously you gotta pray for your daily bread, but you know, you, you gotta put yourself in a dead position where you can't get your daily bread sometimes, man. You know what I mean? You know, you gotta, you know, Yahweh Shai, he walked in the, he walked and got some peace in the, um, in the garden. Oh, I don't wanna, I don't want this to fuck up. I'm just gonna press home, right? Cause I don't know what I got loaded up in other, other tabs. But Yahweh Shai, you know, he, you know, he got a little bit of respite here and there, but ultimately he was a life filled of, with grief, okay? It was a life filled with grief. And, you know, the servant's not, is not greater than the master. So, Yahweh Shai is gonna be glorified before we become glorified. That's that's one thing, but that's not to say, you know, you don't try particular things, you don't do particular things 
because you feel like you're gonna catch out. Sometimes you have to try. You gotta double. You gotta double your toe in it. You know. You gotta double your toe in it and see see how the, the spirit responds. And hey, that's sometimes that's a day to day thing. And you know, sometimes you go to the job and you're supposed to be an expert at the job, and you, you're drawing all kind of mental blanks, boy. <laughs> when the apostle said that, apostle Arablab said that, and I had to laugh because I'd been there. You know what I mean? I remember the first time I started this particular job that I, I do. And oh man, I was drawing mental blanks, boy. Okay, my 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 my, <laughs> my, my mind was, you know, my mouth was cashing checks my, my mind couldn't afford. Okay? Because them curses, man, them curses be heavy upon us, man. That's part of the that's part of the um that's part of the uh, the tribulation that we go through. The curses be heavy on you, man. The curses be heavy on you sometimes. It's like sometimes I remember I posted one of the uh, bishops, they said that the bishop, elder bishops, they said that, man. Like sometimes you, it feels like sometimes the help the the, the the curses are heavier on you, All right? And I remember I was speaking to another brother. I'm not going to mention his name or his or his situation in this particular video because his 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 situation is his situation. But I remember I was speaking to him. I said, "Look, man, I remember when I applied for this particular job and I and I got it and 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 they actually told me, look, man, you know, if you don't get your shit together, you know, we're gonna have to sack you.' And they won't like. You know, like I've never been the type of person to be lazy or anything like that. It wasn't like I wasn't putting effort. Man was putting in all types of effort. And it was, you know, it was kind of comforting to hear that he went through the same thing when he told me about his situation where he's like, look, man, you know, my mind, my mind too, you know, the mind, this little flesh that we got here, man, the spirit's willing, but the, the, it, this ain't it, man. This ain't it. But, you know, we both got delivered out of those situations because the most I will help out his men. Okay, the most I will help out his men. And, and, and I suppose that's the scripture. That we could really quote from the book of Ecclesiasticus, right? The second chapter, when you know, when you feel that like the Most High is departed, that's when you're supposed to cleave onto Him more, because ultimately that's a, that's the proving ground, okay? This this earth, this these bodies, this is the proving ground of how how loyal you're going to be to the Heavenly Father Yahweh Hashem Outside. And the Scripture talks about how that is only going to be a, a remnant that's going to be really loyal, okay? That the chaff is going to burn out, right? The sticks are going to burn out, but you hope to be the gold. And as we get as we get purified. As we go through these adversities and we become made perfect, you would hope you're you're that gold, and, and you're gonna last the test of time, man. Okay, so in much hell, and much tribulation, much uh, crying, okay, much um, grief. That's how we hope to get into the kingdom. So this is like a grievous, grievous position to be in, knowing all the good goodies that the earth could, hey, no, really knowing all the goodies that the earth could provide, that the most I could provide, knowing His name. And sometimes not really having access to it. You know, that's a, you know, sometimes that's a terrible place to be. But we don't do it for the now. We do it for the after. So with that, I'm gonna say praise unto you, I'm outside by stream. We call Hakodash double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone and honors to brothers to be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.